Hey everybody, Planet Walls here. We are starting round five of the Classic League. I have been paired down against Backed Goods. Um, and this is his deck. Uh, I'll be very quick about it. Looks, It's one of these uh, Niv Magus Delver lists. So a lot of one drops, a lot of counter magic that's kind of scary. Uh, a couple removal spells that are, that are worth noting. Very light on lands as far as I can tell, multiple wastelands. There's a library which is kind of scary. I guess it's only got six fetches and then five wasteland effects. Um, so, so we'll see. Um, and then, let's see, Shattering Sprees won't do very much. Flusterstorms are scary because while they combo with Niv Magus, they also actually counter our stuff, unfortunately. And then Forces and Gushes too. So this will be kind of an interesting matchup. His sideboard um, doesn't have a, very much against us. Maybe Caracas if he wants to bounce our Vendillion clicks or something or kill our Caracas. Uh, Rest in Peace just deals with Snapcasters, but that's bad for him too. Maybe he bored a Kataki in. Um, this could disrupt our mana artifacts, but we only have a couple. I guess it could disrupt like top. So maybe he would bring in stony silences, but that seems like overkill to me. So I'm gonna pause the recording and I'll get back to you when we're in game. All right, we should be back. Um, our game has just started, he wins the roll. And um, well, I typed high in GL. I take it he sees both those things, not just high. Um, so let's think about our hand. We have a very fast Jace. So it can get mental misstepped or soul ring. Um, the top might even be more valuable potentially, especially with a fetch land. Um, so what I'm inclined to do, actually one thing that's unfortunate is that he can wasteland anything we have, but that's actually okay because we have the fetch land and it would mean he's out tempoing himself kind of. Um, so we're not gonna mulligan this. Uh, we could also get a fast trinket mage, which is pretty sweet. I might lead off with the Vendillion click because I think the soul ring might be the most valuable thing here. So he doesn't play a Delver or a Vendillion, or I'm sorry, a, oh, that's kind of a crappy card right now. Um, he doesn't play a Delver or a Niv Magus Elemental. I think what I want to do is lead off with Soul Ring, just because if it resolves, then I can play top. Um, he has Spell Pierces, a Spell Pierce could counter it, or a Mental Misstep. I take it either of those he would use to counter what we have. These Lightning Bolts really scare me. Um, well, I mean, we can see what happens. I could also try to bait his uh, counter spell with the top first, but I actually, I don't know which one's more valuable right now. I would be happy if either resolved, uh, tell you the truth. Um, I'm going to open myself up to Wasteland simply because um, he hasn't played anything yet, and we have this fetch line that I want to use for the top. So let's go ahead and cast this and see if this resolves. My guess is Spell Pierce happens. Brainstorm, okay, so, I mean, then we might see a misstep here. Or a force, honestly. I think he knows from looking at our deck the, well, I guess here we go, here we see. It does resolve, um, so let's try to get this guy down, and then we activate it with that mana. So what do we want to draw? I think we definitely don't care about this Graft Digger's Cage at all. It stops his Snapcasters, he's got one more than me, from doing extra stuff, so that might be worth noticing. Stops ours too, but we don't have one in our hand. Um, I do want to put the Force of Will on top. I would love to pitch this Steel Sabotage to a Force. And then the Mana Drain probably under that, um, just because both are relevant. So I'm going to go ahead and put the, the Cage on top, and we'll probably shuffle it away. And we leave Force on top, just in case we need to draw out with Divining Top. It's really confusing, the fact that you put stuff on the top and it's called top. Um, and maybe we need to counter something. What would I counter this turn? I think I would counter a Niv Magus Elemental. Really? Um, and I think I would also counter... Probably wouldn't counter a Delver. All the permanents I really care about killing are also one, so I don't care about my non-basic lands as much in this matchup with respect to engineered explosives. And Delver Secrets is sometimes zero. Oh, Shattering Spree. Well, that thing that I didn't want to happen kind of happened, and I actually think keeping that Soul Ring around might be worthwhile, so I am going to go ahead and Force a Will this. Especially because keeping this around lets me play the top and use it again. It's too bad I don't have Steel Sabotage to save it, actually. But that's fine. Okay, so 
Um, he uses some counter spells and definitely takes out our soul ring. Now we have an awkward top on the top of our deck. We don't have anything to do next turn anyway. Um, the one thing that is unfortunate about this is that I know that there's a mana drain right after this card. And the implication of that is that um, I can't play it this turn. So, mistake, possibly. Uh, I think what I do here, because, let's see, it goes Mana Drain and then Graft Digger's Cage, which I'm not overly excited about. Uh, I think I put down the uh, Fetch Land. And then I decide whether or not I want to crack the Fetch. This is just so I can keep Caracas around. In order to, I guess, combo later on. Maybe Caracas is a less valuable land. I do think I would draw a Mana Drain though, if um, I could. His mental missteps are now, because of my hand, not very good. Okay, we've got a main phase Brainstorm. Another option I have, actually, is to crack a fetch top and then look for um, a Force of Will. I mean, maybe blowing this Force of Will on his uh, Shattering Spree is bad. I guess I feel like I traded one card that's good, the Force of Will, and then one card that I don't care about, the Steel Sabotage, for his Shattering Spree and Spell Pierce, but he also kills the Soul Ring, so uh, I'm not so sure how I feel about that. Like I said here, I am going to... He's only got two lands, so I am going to go ahead and draw the Mana Drain first. Um, interesting play would be to cast a Snap... Uh, cast the Graft Digger's Cage here and make his Snapcasters work. Um, the other interesting play would be to just play the Trinket Mage right now. And I think Trinket Mage is going to be good in finding an Engineered Explosive for later, but I kind of want to save that for when he doesn't quite expect it. So what we're just going to go ahead and do is play the Caracas and pass the turn and be ready to Mana Drain. And he can Spell Pierce, something that we Mana Drain, but it looks like he's not going to be doing that. So we're going to top first, see what we got. We have our own Spell Pierce, we have a Venser, which combos with Caracas, so I think I'm going to want that. Um... And I'm going to go ahead and relinquish this Graft Digger's Cage for now. He's mana screwed, too, so if I can, let's see, draw this. And, you know, I need another land for that, too. Maybe this isn't strong enough in this matchup. Spell Pierce doesn't counter Eventser, though. Neither does Mental Mist up, neither does Flusterstorm. So maybe we try to ride that wave, if possible. Uh, and I draw this Eventser. And I have the option then of trying to crack this fetch, looking at top and playing a land. Not extraordinary. I kind of want to keep the spell pierce on top, actually. And I don't really want to do that. That's not very interesting. Um, I can't even cast it with a Caracas out. So what we go ahead and do, I think, is just go ahead and look for an island here. And then we go ahead and top. And I think I would play a land this turn if it were here. Yeah, and we're going to play the basic. I think that's worth doing. Um, we have one counter spell. I mean, maybe he's saving a lot to try and get down a new Magus Elemental, but Jace, if I can get it down, can then just bounce the new Magus. So can Venser, for that matter. Maybe I'm, uh... I mean, I guess, like, I don't even draw a land next turn unless I tap one to play top. Okay, we've got no plays from him. Again. Um, so, the question is, do I save my mana to play a Venser? I feel like if I play Jace, it just gets Spell Pierce this turn, honestly. He's played one, he's got four in his deck. I mean, maybe that allows it to get forced, and then I can start Venser comboing. Um, or maybe it's better to try and Venser him during his turn, and let that get forced, and then play the Jace on mine. Then again, that would still keep that open to Spell Pierce. So I'm actually not sure what to do. I guess I go ahead and pass. The other the other thing that happens, potentially, I mean, I can play this top and just draw a land, and then I'd get another land drop. I mean, it's also possible the top doesn't resolve, and I definitely would want to do that in main phase B, so that my mana drain, if I have to use it, produces mana drain the next turn. Yeah, he might try to counter this. 
and I think that's okay. Okay, he did. Now I could go ahead and mana drain that right now. And I get my top, and I get a land. That's not that extraordinary. And then it gives me six next turn. I no longer have the mana drain. So maybe that greedy play there is going to be a problem. I feel like I can give him a turn. So I'm going to go ahead and go for the Trinket Mage now. For the sake of efficiency. The other thing is I don't really want to play Venser when I can just get Lightning Bolted. God, we have the millionth Brainstorm. He's definitely going to land the land next turn. Again, Classic League. We can see Bat Goods deck here. So does this little buddy resolve? Yes, he does. We could just find a land. And that is interesting. But then we could also find a mana crypt and then run a clock. It's less interesting. I kind of feel like the right play might be to find an engineered explosives just to stay on, on the defensive plan, being able to kill Delvers or Niv Magus Elemental. Um, a little bit less exciting, um, but it, it... Then again, the Graph Digger's Cage can make up for the fact that he could start Snapcasting. He's been stuck at two forever, right? Then again, Graph Digger's Cage just get countered by Snapcaster or Flashing Back, misstep. So let's go ahead and take um, the explosives. I think that's the safe play. We actually kind of want to hit a land here. We didn't, but we hit another card that combos with Caracas. So that's kind of funny. Um, we're going to go ahead, and I think what we're going to do here is walk into a Snapcaster, which I'm okay with. Or we'll just deal him damage. I'm actually going to wait till his draw step to Vendillion click. I think that seems right. It's a creature, which means he can't spell pierce it again. My guess is that he forces it. One of the other interactions you can use in this deck is bouncing stuff with Jace, bouncing our own dudes, which is relevant with these gentlemen. Okay, so we have his turn, we have his draw step. Let's try to make this happen. So I guess the consideration is whether to counter it or let it hit, and then try to bolt it. He's also got swords, which you can presumably find with a scalding turn. I mean the mana for it. Yeah, in Tundra. Okay, we're definitely going to be looking at his hand. We're going to type these babies up. Uh, I see no reason not to bounce this right now. So it looks like he's getting swords now. 
that is what's happening and I am okay with that well oh, pardon that there's a phone ring in the other room can't do anything about that okay so two removal spells spent I imagine there's a snapcaster sitting in his hand but he won't be able to do anything about it this turn and we get to see his hand and maybe uh, trade something out Okay, those are the cards in his hand. Do we want to take any of them away? This turn, Force of Will is a big pain in the butt. Everything else sucks, actually, um, because Venser is going to start being awful for him to deal with, I think. So we're going to go ahead and, I think, get the Force out of here. I really want to draw land, obviously. Um, Okay, so there's a Snapcaster, one unknown, misstep, Flusterstorm, and a Tarn. So now it's Snap, misstep, um, Fluster, unknown. So is he going to... Okay, good, we drew a land, which isn't the best this turn. Snap, Force of Will, Missed Up, Flusterstorm. He can kill um, our Jace, noticeably, unless we boost him. Because he can flash back a Lightning Bolt. And he's also a 12 life, which is good. So we're definitely going to play this land. I think um, I think we're going to start Ventsering. Do I want to let him draw another card before I do that? That is pretty much the question. Because um, there's no reason not to do it right now. But I think maybe playing the Jace is better. And if I play the Jace, he tries to kill it. Um, and I just go ahead and pump it. I think that's what I do. I think that's just stronger right now, as far as a play goes. He could have also drawn a counter spell. In that unknown card. But he did not. So we're going to go ahead. Um, looking at the top of our deck makes sense because he's got a fetch land out. Do we want that? Can we afford to play it with the mana next turn? I don't think so. I think we want something else. I'd rather draw a land. Even if Brainstorm would draw me into a land. Okay, so this leaves him with Misstep, Fluster, Unknown, Unknown. This is targeting the Lightning Bolt, presumably. Yes. Hits Trinket Mage, which I am okay with. We can go ahead and bounce that Snapcaster Mage, but that would make me sad. We can also uh, blow it up with Explosives, but the best play is going to be playing a Venser, and um, then blocking, and then Caracasing. Um, so I think what I do here, though, almost assuredly, is just Brainstorm. I'd love to find a land. And I did. Um, Pithy Needle I can try to play, and play it on Scalding Tarn. Um, what else does he have to Pithing Needle in his deck? Scalding Tarn, Wastelands, Library, Niv Magus Elemental, which probably makes him lose the game. Okay, so maybe we would definitely want to do that soon, and that's better than just screwing him out of a land. Um, so I think I'm going to want to do the Venser play this turn. I don't need multiple mana drains, I don't think. Um... So let's go ahead and do, yeah, let's keep that explosives on top because there's no way I'm going to want to use that this turn. Um, we play our land and then we pass, well, I can actually, I can actually play a Pithing Needle right now and name Niv Magus, which I think is probably right. Though I should have tapped the Underground Sea easily. He has to use his fetch so I don't name 
uh, that fetch land. And um, now we go ahead and pass the turn, I think. Hmm, maybe venturing during our turn would have actually been better here. Maybe definitely before he draws a card. See if this baby resolves. He's got three unknowns. One of those could be a counter spell that deals with this. One moment. Sorry about that. I had to get up and take care of something. Um, he is floating a blue. He's going to cast another Snapcaster Mage. Okay. So that's going to target not a Swords. Maybe a Brainstorm? We've got an Explosives on top. We can blow up a bunch of two drops. So, that's cool. Yeah, I'm not sure what he's going to target here. That's okay. Brainstorm. Okay, so it's possible he can find another lightning bolt or something. This old combo. You got it. Unfortunately, it costs four to play Venser. I know he's got a land in his hand. He's got that Tundra. Um, he should still have... Well, now we don't know. His hand is just all unknowns now because of the Brainstorm. He could be putting Flusterstorms back on, and he had this fetch land. My guess is that there's like a Flusterstorm in the top of the cards, though. He's looking for a bolt. Kill this bad boy. But then he should have brainstormed before blockers declared, right? Eh, maybe not. Because he wants to do something in response to the Krakus. But what I gather here is he has no lightning bolt. Um, so, okay. We're going to go ahead and take the turn. Wasteland. That's fine. Definitely ruins that plan, but realistically that was a distraction anyway. Um, I bet you're all happy I know that at least. Um, so we are going to see if our engineered explosives resolves first. I can still brainstorm too. Should have done this main phase B though. That's something I should have done. So if I have to mana drain, then I don't get the mana awfully this turn. Okay, so Spell Pierce lives some still with the possibility of playing a Force of Will, I guess. And we can keep our guy alive in theory, unless he has a Lightning Bolt that he runs into. Um, I think what I do here is I just pay the two. And then I try to find a land with a brainstorm. I'm sorry, with a Jace. And we did. Um, so we can put back, I think, do we want to put back Venser? No, we're going to want to play land this turn and land next turn. Um, 
So let's put a uh, mana drain on top and then the seat. Go ahead and play this. Um, and we can pass the turn and blow up his guys. I'm going to watch my clock again. I know my deck takes forever to win. Ooh, we also have Counterspell backup if we need it. But we have like this bounce spell in our hand that we can actually recur with Jace in a weird sort of way if we need to. I'm just going to go ahead and kill these guys. That is fine with me. Library, I am not worried about that right now. Okay, so we're back in business. We can start doing a bunch of Jace shenanigans, playing our guy, bouncing and playing again. And then I think we just win the game. Um, so I'm going to do that at end of his turn, I think. I'm going to Fate Seal him and bring this closer to this win con. Tundra could have swords that he can use. I don't care. No, keep it on top. <laughs> the only cards of mine that suck are Mana Drain and Brainstorm because of his uh, Fluster Storm. She could use to like counter my counter spell. This Niv Magus I'm not worried about. I'm not even sure he has perm like any way to deal with that. He's still got Gush that I haven't seen him use. I guess he's got another Shattering Spree. And there's maybe a Fluster Storm. Curious what this would be. Is this another snap? Oh, it's a gush. Okay. So I'm going to try and. No, we're going to try and venture that. That worked. That's funny, though. Um, didn't think of that one. So you can gush again. Which is actually kind of scary, but then he doesn't have any lands out. So he has to do a bunch of stuff this turn, then. He's just going to go ahead and rem remove the lands from his pool, um, which is fine. Uh, I actually think I might brainstorm right now. Um, eh, that doesn't do anything, honestly. I would have to do it main phase. I want to see another card. Um, so I attack with Venser. And the question is, do I bring Jace up? If he has lightning bolts, it keeps me from this win con, actually. Um, and so I might just want to bounce Venser and have that have access to that again. Or also brainstorming. Like Jace is really hard for me, hopefully anybody to play with. Um, so like I'm considering fate sealing. He's got so many cards in his hand now that seems much worse. Um, so I'm kind of interested in bouncing Venser and casting it again, or maybe brainstorming to draw a land. So what I'm actually gonna do, I think, is Brainstorm to draw a land. When I have eight mana open, I can do a little bit more. There's that Graph Digger's Cage, which is almost useless now. Um, so Spell Snare only counters his last Snapcaster Mage. And so he probably doesn't have that, so this is probably bad. So let's go ahead and drop that Fetch Land, and we will definitely crack that, I think. Actually, we'll crack that now. And um, maybe then we just hard cast a brainstorm right now. Main phase cast it, I suppose. It's 
kind of want to find a Frost Titan. You'll have to force that. He's got a Gush in his hand. Um, bounce two lands. So Island and a Tundra. And that's a misstep. Um, I actually don't... Do I care about that? I don't really want to lose a Mana Drain. I'm okay with that. That's, I mean, his missteps don't counter much at this point, so that's kind of a blow to me. But um, I think worse things have happened. The fact that he's drawing multiple cards a turn is bad, but then again, I have a Jace, so I shouldn't really be complaining. With double mana drain, he's going to have to force away all his good stuff. If he um, gushes and tries to float. Um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and let that resolve too, I think. Because I definitely want to be able to save these for Gush. And whatever force of will defense he has. And maybe bouncing this guy was right. I don't, I don't know. It's just really hard to counter with this deck because it can't be Fluster Stormed. Delver. Let's counter that guy. No, let's not. Let's just let's just bounce him. That would be fine with me. Or I could fate seal and remove the instant from the top of his deck. That would also be a fun option. We drew a land, which we don't want. So I'm attacking. At least I don't think we want to land at this point. Mountain? No, you can keep that on top. Your Delver's not going to get to flip. Um, we're going to play this land, though. Maybe it should just be working to bring this guy up to full 12. The next turn, he hits 10, then he hits 12, then I can use it. Yeah, of course he revealed that. I guess I should be more focused about how I'm going to win this game. Plus I've used up half my clock again, which I'm sure you guys are used to. This little guy, he's great. I just wish I could play this game faster, unless like a person who has a brain handicap. No offense to people who have brain handicaps, I don't have any problem with that. Would really like to see a Frost Titan. Maybe that's maybe that's the way I try to close out this game. Get him to um, five, which is one Frost Titan. Frost Titan smack. There's one right there. I'm gonna go to main phase B to cast that. Um, Flusterstorm can counter a Mana Drain, so maybe I want to brainstorm before I do it. Um, definitely attacking though. So he can force a will and then essentially counter my um, counter spell that counters his force a will. No, oh, now we have another frost titan. So I don't care about this grab digger's cage, um, and I actually think I don't care about this force will this turn. Maybe I don't care about the frost titan this turn. Um, six. Yeah, I can't cast both mana drains. That's true. So let's put a Frost Titan back, and I plan on double mana draining, or 
single mana draining and then removing the other one if I have to. Um, so we see what happens here. My guess is this gets forced. And then when I mana drain that, what is this? I'm definitely tapping out his Tundra so he can't. It's a gush? That's weird. Is he just setting up to a Flusterstorm? If he wants to Floster Storm, we can do that now. I'm countering that gush. Spell Pierce. Okay. So, he can have his gush then, I think. I think that's fine with me. I just want to keep his white all tapped down. Could have multiple Tundras, too. Um... So I kind of want to keep Counterspell back up after he has to pay a bunch of mana. Okay, so he's going to force this. What's he exiling? I have no idea. I guess like a Spell Pierce or something. Um, so let's see. Do I counter this? No, he's probably still got that Fluster Storm. I'm not letting him get out of this with a Fluster Storm. That guy can be countered. That's fine. So he's still got a million cards in hand. I could very well still lose this game, unfortunately. If this guy flips, he's getting bounced. He's at a multiple of four, so I'm glad I'm not bouncing this because, like, I need to kill him. <laughs> now he's going to activate Library. He's got a Lightning Bolt in his hand. So I guess Jay still can't die. Pretty good. I have a feeling the Venser gets attacked with a lightning bolt here. This is fine. Yeah, that's kind of to be expected. And I think I think I should be okay with that because I have a Frost Titan on top of my deck. So I think this is what we do here. I think we draw cards to see if we can hit another counter spell. Um and we're willing to put Jason a little bit of danger here. We draw a Stifle, um, which I'm actually okay with, because that can counter a Flusterstorm Storm. Um, so that's actually kind of funny. I kind of want to put this Strip Mine back, even though it can kill like a Tundra with it. Um, so that's okay. I'm glad to have that on top. It can also kill the Library with it. I'm going to try and cast this guy again. Depending on what counter magic suite he decides to uh, instantiate here. Did I move to main phase B? If I didn't, I'm so mad. I don't think I did. Um, so let's see. If I spell pierce could deal with this guy. Stifle can be misstepped with a snapcaster. I think keeping the forceful is smart. So I think mana draining this. Even though I blew the mana drain opportunity during my next turn. Oh my god, I don't have enough to pay for the, the single Fluster Storm. Okay, um, so let's see what happens here. Go ahead and allocate all these. I'm not going to pay for any of them. Um, mana Drain can be countered. Cancel. Okay. 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 Now we're going to try and force this force. Come on, baby. Yeah, land. All right, keep this tap down because we do not want to see a swords to plowshares. It can still happen, man. And by man, I mean whoever you are. Looks like we got a concession. Okay. Frost Titan pulls through. We've got 10 minutes to win this game. And what is good in this matchup? Engine Explosives is good. Pithing Needle is good. Graph Digger's Cage is highly mediocre. He doesn't have very much to board in. Um, maybe this. Maybe Shattering Sprees. That seems weird. Maybe a Swords, actually. Maybe also Caracas. I kind of am interested to board in Legionnaires. 
to try and win more quickly. But I have to figure out what to board out. Um, so something's got to suck for them to want to be boarded in. Um, Stifle's pretty good against him, actually. Um, misstep. Spell Snare is not because it only counters his Snapcasters. Uh, so we're cutting that. And Steel Sabot Sabotage is actually pretty horrible, too. Uh, Ratchet Bomb is actually pretty strong against him. Um, these Tormod Crypts are not the strongest thing. Um, misstep is. Um, so the question is, we got two slots. Do we board in, like, Ratchet Bomb and another Pithing Needle, or just go double double Ratchet Bomb? I think we go double Ratchet Bomb as removal package. I think our creature base is good, and Porcelain Legionnaire isn't that astounding, but we have to win this game quickly. I think this is fine. So, if we lose, let's lose fast. We're going to act like we're thinking. No, that's okay. I don't think he can really blow us up insanely unless he can counter his own. Well, that's pretty good, isn't it? Um, so we're definitely just going to go ahead and cast this. See if he has a force of will. For everybody who watched... No, we don't want that. We want Niv Magus Elemental. We just top decked that. So, maybe that's BS. I don't know. It's the way things go. Get in there for one, buddy. I'm F6ing now because I don't have anything I can do. Alright. Uh, we're definitely going to drop down... I uh, think we dropped the Tarn in case I want to brainstorm. We can also Mana Drain. And if you play something super expensive like a Gush, then we might even be able to get down a Frost Titan. <clears throat> Yep, that's fine. Wasteland, eh? You're a wise guy, huh? Okay, we want that Jace. We definitely want this cavern, actually. Um, we probably want our land, too. Like, what's weak right now? The Into the Royal is pretty bad. Um... I don't know if we want all these lands. So I'm going to pitch the Into the Royal. Do I want to pitch the in? Let's pitch an Island and an Into the Royal. I think that that's right. Maybe we don't want to take the extra life hit with this. But I think we... Yeah, maybe that's actually right. Maybe we don't want to go down because of Lightning Bolts. Um, so let's go ahead and toss the Into the Royal. Let's crack this. I could wait and do it during my turn to redraw the Into the Royal, but I don't particularly want to. Um, of course it kept a cavern when he's got a wasteland just giving him additional options that is okay sometimes you're AJ and you make horrible mistakes we're going to EOT Vendillion click and we're not going to do it right now because I might want to mana drain into a frost titan we'll give him the option of frost tightening in such a way that it's uncounterable if I can mana drain this turn which is pretty cool right he decided not to allow me to do that that is his prerogative. Seems fair. Now I probably won't be able to play another land because of idiocy, I guess you could call it. So judging by what he's doing here, it looks like he might want to brainstorm and force a well. Maybe bolt it? Is that what's going on? With its ability on the stack? I think I would be okay with that. Okay, no, he's brainstorming. Keeping a white open in case he wants to swords it. He must have those swords in his hand. So my guess is he would prefer to counter this, but he would be willing to swords it. We're definitely going to look at his hand and see what we can do here. Swords hits. 
That's okay. We go up to 19. Should have kept another land. This is how things go. Force, snap, fluster, fluster, scalding. Um, and do we want to take any of those? I think we want the force of will gone, and I think I just cast a Jace. I think that's what I do. Or maybe I just cast a Trinket Mage this turn. I don't know. It's not very exciting. I could find like a top or something. Um, I think the only way he really gets out of this... I mean, the Snapcaster Mage also can kill a Frost Titan in theory. That is going to take a while, though. So I'm happy getting rid of that. And we draw another land like we're good at this game. And what we're going to do here, despite this bro being out there, because he can't snap cast right now, it... Oh, that's sad. Um, well, sometimes they just rip a force when you put a force on the bottom. Okay, so now the hand is... Fluster, Snap, um, and that's all we know, and an unknown. Okay, so we draw a Ratchet Bomb. That's fine. Um, that's essentially going to be a Snapcaster Mage thing. Um, I can also find another land with Trinket Mage, but I think it just dies. I think I play this here, keep Mana Drain open. Then we can Fluster Storm it, which is horrible. I don't know. Pass. I think I just keep this. Do I keep this on, on zero in case he delvers? That's possible. Probably didn't want to give me that information this turn. There's a Caracas. I don't care about that. Um... So we're going to put a charge counter on this. We're going to bring it up to Snapcaster kill zone. We draw a Brainstorm, which I'm going to play right now. Because I want to find a land that's not a cavern. Because I'm a donkey. Then again, he spent, he spent a bunch of... Yeah. And I, well, I found a bunch of lands. Okay, so um, I will play out, actually, the... I can double... Double Drain. I'm going to play at the Tundra, and I want to draw this uh, Misty next turn. Uh, again, I'm thinking relatively quickly here, primarily because I'm afraid I'm going to lose. So if he kills that Tundra, then I don't get to Cavern and play a Frost Titan that's uncounterable. Getting attacked by this guy for one is fine. I'm not blowing up Ratchet Bomb for that reason to kill Pithy Needle. Um, but I will put another charge counter on it. So, what kind of mana does he have at his disposal? Can he snap cast the swords and then pay for it to kill my Frost Titan? Yes. Maybe he'll use his Wasteland to kill a Tundra, though. Yeah, so I think we go ahead and play this. I don't think we use it to play the Frost Titan um, because I'm going to need to defend it, really. In the meantime, I'm just not worried about that Niv-Magus. Uh, that actually, you know what? Shattering Storm could happen, and then Niv-Magus could just kill me. So there's that. Something to consider. Though, no, Niv-Magus won't be able to kill me until after the Pithy Needle's dead, but he could target that first. Though I could counter it. I mean, that, that's like an interesting metagame all to itself. I think I made several misplays, especially like the Brainstorm here. Um, the next card is Trinket Mage, right? What does that do for me? It can find me a land or a Mana Crypt, for instance. There's another Niv Magus. That's okay, I think. There's the Wasteland. That's fine. I'm going to float a blue. Now he doesn't have enough unless he draws a land to, um, yeah, that's fine. So we'll draw that Trinket Mage. Um, I'm going to crack this, 
I think. And I think I'm going to go ahead and cast the um, Frost Titan this turn, hoping he doesn't have uh, another land. Because he has so few. You know what? It doesn't matter. I get to tap down one anyway. So I think what I do here, this can be bounced with a gush. This cannot be. So I tap this down. I don't know, maybe that's maybe that's bad. I feel like this puts him in a really bad position. Unless he's going to swords it right now from his hand. And he has his second swords. Or his third if he boarded it in. Which would be pretty disappointing. Unless he's going to try to swords it but won't be able to. Um, okay, so this is going to happen again. Classic players, you should read today's cards. Um... The result of this is going to be bad for him, I think. Um, this guy's good, bros. Um, sorry, I mean, I, I don't like it when situations like this happen. They're kind of unfortunate. My guess is that his win count at this point is using some kind of replicate, kill my artifact spell, and getting through with Nimagus. And he's probably got this turn to do it before I have enough mana drain uh, outlet. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead. Probably going to crack this uh, Ratchet Bomb and then attack him. Yep, let's do that. Uh, do I keep the Caracas tapped? I don't really know. I think, I think, um, because of Gush, I keep doing that. Or maybe I try to keep him from replicating a million times. So I should be tapping down mountains. Um, this turn, though... We go ahead and cast this guy. This homeboy. We could find explosives and just take care of his Nivmagus and our Pith and Needle for good, which might be the best thing to do. I don't really want mana at this point. I don't really want another land. Um, could find another Pithing Needle. <laughs> I don't really feel like that does anything. Um, Sensei's Divining Top might do something. I actually think explosives might be the best option here, though. I'm not casting it because I want to keep open um, double mana drain this turn. Gotta watch my clock still. His clock's getting fairly low too, but his two minute difference on me is seriously important. And he can only replicate twice, which is also worth noting. And if the replicate succeeds, he can't attach it to the Niv Magus. Though if he, it involved a Fluster Storm too, he probably could. And I think he might still have a Fluster Storm in his hand. So like landing this Engineered Explosives next turn, I feel like secures me the victory. Just remember not to tap the engineer, the Cavern to do it. Okay. Um, oh, we drew another land. That's crappy. Okay, I'm landing this. Spell Pierce, huh? Okay, we will let that resolve, and we will pay for it with this and with this.
Is there going to be another one? Another spell pierce? I guess this means to him that I'm winning the game here. Um, I think I'm going to let that happen too. Yeah, we're going to do this. This takes me off uh, mana drain, but I don't even care. And I think now I tap down maybe a blue. Yeah, I think that's I think that's right. I guess he's gonna bolt our dome. I don't think he can do enough. Let's see, he could tap, gush, play. I don't think he can kill me. No, that's not gonna do it. Everybody, thanks for watching. Got a screenshot this before it goes away. Classic. Um, new. Give me a, a new one. There we go. All right. Save that. Desktop capture uh, 56. And uh, thanks everybody for watching.